For the viewers that have been following along the progress of this pistol, especially the latter part of where I'm testing it and experiencing some issues, I've got uh, a failure to feed and a failure to eject. I wanted to share with you some of the reasons for that and what I've done to resolve it. One of the issues with these rounds, these 25 caliber ACP rounds, is that they're not a straight walled case and the rim also is a little oversized so it does lock in there but as you stack six rounds into the magazine the angle actually changes about 10 degrees it doesn't seem like a lot but it makes some difficulty in chambering the round from the first to the last now I've had some difficulty with the very top round on the stack not feeding properly I've profiled the feed ramp extensively trying to get it to work and Sometimes I'm just not the brightest light in the room. And if you take a look between the feed ramp and the barrel lug, there's a little sharp lip there that I haven't profiled out or built up in any way. The very top round is actually hitting that lip and stopping dead. And you can see this on one of these rounds here. And you can see where I did numerous attempts to load that round as it rotated around. So what I'm going to do next step is to actually fill that in a little bit with some weld bead and then grind it flush and that should look after that. One of the issues with failure to eject is it was uh, not hitting the back of the magazine case or the extractor was too tight. So what I've done is added a little tiny spring that I'll put some light on it that rides under the bolt, the breech, whatever and as the slide comes back that exposes that little pin and it grabs the the rim of the case and just knocks it out. I did some testing yesterday and I got nailed in the forehead twice with hot brass so I know it's working well. So that's looked after. I'm gonna look after this and then we're into some testing proof that even old guys can learn something new every day. Put a little bit of weld bead between the barrel lug and the, and the barrel and then profiled it with my Dremel tool. So I now have a nice transition between the two pieces and that should solve the issue with the top round and the magazine jamming. The pistol has been reassembled and I'm going to load six rounds into the magazine and then attempt to feed and extract those six especially interested to see how well the top one comes off and feeds. you notice that the bottom of the magazine has various bits and pieces added to it and that's because this is in development phase and I needed to determine uh, the proper height to insert into the into the gun and the angle for the catch so that's all been figured out and I'll make up another piece that looks a little better than that. So, load it. As always, no firing pin installed for these tests. There you go.